You can create really high resolution AI images using Flux's latest model, up to 4 megapixels of images, a really good quality camera image using AI without compromising on the time. That is the latest Flux models from Black Forest Labs. So I saw the samples and those are stunning, like really, really good. And you can generate that using two kinds of models. One is their Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. The second one is a Flux 1.1 Raw. So these are the models that they've not open source. This is the closed version of the model. So we do not know the exact pipeline behind it, but I don't know whether they have got a separate upscaler here running or the model itself is generating the upscaled image. See, typically what happens if you're using stable diffusion or even flux in production, you would create the images using flux and then send it to an upscaler. Like there is a 2x upscaler, a 4x upscaler that will increase the image resolution so you can use it for poster, you can use it as a desktop wallpaper and a bunch of other things. But what this latest model from flux is trying to do here is that, okay, can we create high resolution image without compromising on the generation speed? Because that is the most important thing. If you send it to an upscaler, it's going to take a hit on the generation time, but this is trying to fix that issue so that without compromising in speed, without compromising in generation time, you're going to get a higher resolution image. And that is really good. Like if you see the ELO score, when they compare it with other solutions like Ideogram and Mystic, I think from FreePick, then you can see Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra took around 10 seconds and the ELO score is insanely high when you compare it with other solutions like Ideogram plus upscaling or uh, Mystic. And there are two different modes. One is the ultra mode and the second one is the raw mode. But before I bore you with more theoretical uh, information from their blog post, I'd like to quickly show you for one particular prompt, how does it differ? So I've taken a prompt here and then the prompt is a very detailed prompt. I got it from the internet. I'm not exactly sure from where I got it, but I got it from somewhere. Close up portrait amidst the interplay of light and shadows in a photography studio. A soft spotlight traces the contours of a face highlighting a figure clad in in a sleek black turtleneck. The garment hugging the skin with subtle luxury complements the Caucasian model's understated makeup, embodying minimalistic elegance. Behind a pale gray backdrops extending its fine textures, shimmering subtly in the dim light, artfully balancing the composition and the focusing attention on the subject. In a palette of black, gray and skin tones, I think it should have been black gray skin tone. Simplicity intertwines with profundity as every detail whispers untold stories. It almost feels like a poem somebody has written. Anyways, this is an image. Uh, this is a prompt that I decided to use with Flux Pro Ultra and then also Flux Pro Ultra with raw mode and Flux One Pro, the older model. So first of all, let me show you how does it look with the older model. So this is Flux One Pro legacy model the same prompt, um, the seed would differ of course. And you can see that this is generating a 1024 by 768 image. And this is how the image looks. Definitely not one of the best images. It tries to adhere to the prompt that you have given, but yeah, you can make some changes, but it's not a, it's not a like really, really big image. Like this, if I zoom in, this is, there is no zooming in after this, like from the browser. So this is okay, okay image. Now the same prompt, I've given it to the Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra and this is what I got. So you can see that the image is quite good, the details are good and when I open it, you can like zoom in and see the details. The details are pretty good to be honest, like if you see the details, the the shadows and um, yeah, everything like the hair, uh, maybe the earring is the only thing but the eyes, everything, the eyelashes, the eyebrows everything has a really high quality detail there and uh, the image is really good and uh, you can you can just keep on generating with different different prompts and um, yeah so you want like a really high quality i don't know the size of it let me save it and see the size of it if i say save the image and if i have to see the size of the image let me open the size the size of the image so this is a 2752 by 1530 size and uh, this is 532 KB. It's still not in like MBs, uh, it's a 532 KB. And uh, this is a high quality image, really good one. But now if I give the same prompt to another model that they've got, which is called Flux Pro Ultra, but with RAW. Now we'll quickly see what is it RAW, but when you see this image, honestly, like I like this image much more than the previous one because 
this has a natural tone if you compare this and this so even if i zoom in if you see this one and then this one this one is good like it's not like bad but this is um i find like this is like much more natural it's uh the details are more subtle the shadows are really good i'm not a photographer but if if somebody one of you are like passionate with photography i would love to hear from you like which one is much better so here this one versus this one but i honestly like this one more and this is from the pro ultra raw model like uh, the raw one and what is a raw one the raw one is trying to create as candid as it is possible see the problem right now with photography is like a lot of these images create the strong depth of field if you see typically flux images you can see here you have like a strong depth of field effect and this has been a problem with flux a lot of people have been trying to avoid it but i feel like that is what they have tried to overcome with this model uh, and there are like other things as well you can see that the details are good everything looks you took a smartphone and then you know not a photographer just a normal guy captured it and it it shows the realism there and uh, if you were to compare this with a different prompt uh, let's go ahead and then give a very simple prompt okay i'm going to just simply say a beautiful young woman traveling in a subway um with um with an analog film grainy tone grainy tone run and as you can see here it will take at least like 10 seconds and this is this is without a raw enable i want to go give the same prompt but with raw enable so i'm giving the same prompt but now i have enabled raw here run it and i'm using it with fall you can use it with replicate you can use it on their own platform as well and uh, one of the thing is like with uh, fall you can just literally go copy the code if you were to run it uh, programmatically but yeah that's for a different video i don't know why it has added this like small borders but let's see the image itself it's good it has the filmy grain that i asked for and um, nice image uh, the latest are rendered properly doesn't look bad i think the only catch here is that it looks like it is coming out of a film strip like how you have a negative strip okay let's go to the oh this is i don't know like i love this model uh, i mean model 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 not this girl model so if you see these two pictures um it's a simple prompt to be honest like not a great one but even for this one i love this picture much more than the other one because somehow it captures the naturalism for me the realism there is a there, there is this reflection here um here i don't have the chance to see the reflection but here i have the chance to see the reflection the color tone is good um, yeah i i i don't know i don't know if there is anything that i can say that is not good at this image maybe the human aspect of it is like not super amazing but also like i just give a simple prompt and for this prompt if i can get this image let me save this and then see the size of it i think from fall i can i have to make some settings change to generate a high quality one but yeah this is a 1 mb image um and uh, it's the same resolution 2752 by 15336 i'm pretty good like i love this image let me know what you feel about in the comment section but i will link this in the youtube description and uh, it's quite stunning to see where fluxes like in a short period of time i'm uh, i'm waiting to see what mid journey can do i think mid journey has got a bunch of new uh, features that are available but but this is stunning this is stunning i wish they release a dev uh, model or a snell model with the same facility it'll be quite crazy to create uh, using open source services see you in another video happy prompting